What's going on guys? Welcome back to another home tour in Dallas, Fort Worth. I'm Zach Searsway. And I'm Laura Kratich and we are your Dallas, Fort Worth Realtors. Today we are in McKinney in the Lake Forest community by Grand Homes. We are standing in the 60 foot model right now. Just to build this out, it's gonna be around 1.2. This community though starts at a price of 620,000 and with that, their smaller lots and smaller floor plans are gonna be three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms starting at 27, 100 square feet, which is still actually very large, but this floor plan that we're standing in now is above 4,000 square feet. Can you believe that? Yeah, it's amazing. And to build a brand new home in McKinney is usually a lot more expensive, so to be able to build at 620,000 on the smallest lot, I mean, guys, does it get better than that? It no. doesn't. Guys, this is one of my favorite layouts and actually favorite color scheme because we've seen a lot of really colorful stuff with Grand Homes, but they've reintroduced this darker wood um, paired with the uh, white cabinetry with the really cool gray lines going through it. You guys are going to absolutely love all the fixtures, additions, and upgrades to this home. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. side foyer area of the Grand Homes that you guys should sell for an elevation of. Usually we would start outside, but today it's a little bit gloomy and it's raining. So we are gonna start right here. As you can see right behind me, there is a grand staircase that spirals all the way up to the second floor with the vaulted ceilings. Just a little peek right now, just because we are at the entrance and that's kind of a statement piece right when you walk in. But we're gonna go right and check out what this area has to offer. So, as you come in here, wow, the sound changed completely. I feel like I can actually hear myself. So it's really interesting. This kind of goes in this way, a little hallway seating area here, a little lounge space. They actually made this into a secondary office space, but guess what? Because this is a model home, this is actually gonna be your garage. So this is your third garage here on this side, and the other two are on the other side where they are using for office space right now. But so many windows letting so much light in as we can usually see from the Grand Homes. As we kind of toss these balloons up, you can see that there's a little seating area. Um, so they call it like window seating and it's really, really, really popular amongst Grand Homes build. So it's gonna be in a lot of your floor plans and it is an option if you choose to have it. All right, Laura, so we step over this coffee table right here and this is to the right when you walk in, this is to the left of the house. We're gonna kind of make our way through, going in zigzags. Laura, what do they call this room? Bedroom. Bedroom, okay. So it doesn't look like a bedroom right now, does it? It does not look like a bedroom, but it does have a closet and a window. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a window here with window seating built in. Super efficient use of the space. We love that. And right here, there is storage that they're using for a bunch of stuff that you guys probably don't really care That's about. Closet number one. Mm -hmm. Closet number one. And what is this over here? It doesn't even open, so you guys can't even see it. But either way, <laughs> this flex space right here can be a bedroom or an office. In this case, it is an office. What I want to really highlight is this wall that they did on this side. This accent wall looks so cool. It is actually not wood, but it looks like it probably on camera. It's a nice textured wall. It kind of breaks up that white that you see in here and it makes it look really nice. Yes, love it. Cool, let's go in this way. What's over so, here, Zach? So this uh, is the print center. <laughs> this is a Staples. Laundry room. This is a Staples 2.0, but also the laundry room. So uh, regularly, this would be the laundry room. As you can see, you can actually get water. Uh, water line runs through here and you can get a sink and you can have your washer and dryer in here. This is obviously used as a office setup because it is their model home, but there's a lot of things that you can do when you actually build the house with it. Beautiful. So grand staircase carrying all the way up as we saw earlier. Guys, I wanted to actually highlight to you that 
a lot of their designs um, and a lot of their what would regularly be plain white walls is decked out with this really cool tiling. I mean, it's got this hexagon thing about it. It really breaks up the color. It makes it not look super neutral because there's a lot of really interesting colors in this. Yeah, one house. of my favorite parts of the house. That, that wall right there. Mm -hmm. It's so cool, right? Laura, um, there's a lot of wine drinkers and apparently the main demographics for <laughs> this area are people who really like a nice storage for alcohol. So this wine area right here, this wine cellar, um, obviously you can choose to have it if you want, but it's typically a storage closet and really, really popular amongst grand homes. They like to kind of keep their wine cellar as a statement piece, really mm -hmm. unique. So I want to flip around here to this side and just show you guys this spectacular view. Window's probably a little blown out, but there's a pool back there that we'll show you guys a little bit later. That's perfectly okay. A few things that I really love about this great room, 20 foot ceilings. This texture carries all the way up to the, you know, to the ceiling with the floating fireplace here. Really, really nice. This is obviously an upgrade if you choose to carry it all the way up, but I think it adds such a nice um, luxury feel to your house. It's beautiful. So nice, so nice. Reminds me so, of like Iron Man. Iron Man, yeah. Yeah. That's the, so cool. The backsplash that they put on the fireplace. Laura, I know you're not a huge fan of dark colors in homes, but we walked into this house and what did you think of these cabinet colors? I actually liked them. Yeah, it's kind of nice, I right? I didn't know what to expect with brown, but mm -hmm. I liked it. Yeah, really, really nice. Guys, this white cabinetry against this dark brown, uh, or I'm sorry, this uh, white countertop against this dark brown, brown cabinetry is a really cool color. Um, a lot of modern homes nowadays choose to kind of go with a more neutral, uh, neutral wood or a lighter wood. But I think that having this dark color here where everything else is white looks spectacular. Yep, what's over there? So, uh, are you talking about this right here? No. Over where are we here. Going? This pantry? Yes. Okay. Okay, so this is a pantry where they're using to store all of their model home things, as you see in others. Um, it's coming out of that, I wanted to show you guys something that is one of my favorite features of any kitchen. I think it's a staple, especially when you're spending at this price point, to have a oven tower. So you've got one. Double ovens. Yeah, double oven. And you've got the second one here. This is actually a microwave, but you can choose to have it as an oven if you want. It's all built in, mm -hmm. kitchen aid, you know what it is. Yep. Cool. So obviously you're coming through here and this is your breakfast nook or they choose, a lot of modern homes now don't have a dedicated formal dining space. Of course, with grand homes, everything is almost fully custom, so you can choose to customize it and add a formal dining room if that is what you want to do. One of my favorite things about these, this area here also is the light fixtures. They chose gold, one, two, and three, four light fixtures just in this great room alone. It's amazing, guys. There's so many nice fixtures here, and they're all options that you can choose when you go to design. Awesome. Awesome, and then of course we've got this built-in KitchenAid fridge. Yeah, what do you, how do you feel about built-in appliances, Laura? I love it. Yeah, very cool. Cool, okay. So tucked away in this corner here, guys, is our owner suite. Eight foot door, really nice. Wait till you see the inside of it. Check it out. Ooh, I love how you open that door for us. Yeah, professional door opener. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so of course, Grand Homes, like I said earlier, we've got window seating area here, plenty of light coming in from these tall windows right over here. Um, it opens up right to the pool, and actually right behind this door, I wanna show you guys something kinda cool. We've got another eight foot door, but it's glass in the middle of it, so you can see up, in your, uh, up you know, out to your pool. There's an awning right there, obviously, 
this model home is kind of represent somebody that really likes to entertain because there's a lot of open spaces and that indoor outdoor concept beautiful really nice really nice uh owner suite huh look at the beams of the yeah ceiling. i love the beams i was just gonna say that and they have the beams as well in other parts of the home so yeah. it all comes together really nicely yes yeah this house Ooh, is amazing barn door my fave yep laura's fave barn door so it's a little echoey in here guys so we'll spend enough time in here so you guys can actually appreciate all the colors and design choices that they made for this but this is one of my favorite bathrooms because my colors that i love to pair are gold and black they've got it on this side tiles carry wow yeah right yeah to the it's, uh yeah it's amazing to frame the vanities they use gold and black and that is so luxe so you got a deep soaker tub here with the um, gold uh gold fixtures for the faucets and as you come around to this side you've got your shower space with the rainfall shower regular shower head all gold fixtures right so gold and black guys gold and black so when we go to design i'm going to show you guys that Okay, we'll go into that room here in just a second. Laura is excited for that closet. She's like waving me over. So that being said, guys, we're gonna go and check it out so you guys can see how much space is in here. Ooh, let's meet you on the other side. Peekaboo. Okay, so now we're here in the closet. I just went through that door, she went through that one. Um, there's a mirror attached to this closet or to the closet door just to give you some extra reflection because you wanna look fly with your brand new home. This closet goes pretty deep either side. So his, hers, whatever you want to do. Let's go out and check out the rest of this house, Laura. Amazing. Where's the toilet? Oh, it's over there. Yeah. Yeah. Toilets over there on that side. They're always tucked away so that we never get them in our videos. But you guys already know if you see a shower, there's probably a toilet within 10 feet of you. <laughs> okay. Ready to come back out to the living room? Yep. And then where were you going next? Well, Laura, I think that's for you to decide because you are going to take them upstairs. So I hope you guys enjoy the tour of this downstairs part of Grand Homes Lake Forest floor plan. Without further ado, let's go upstairs, check it out. All right, guys, here we are at our grand entry spiral stairs, my favorite part of the home. Let's go upstairs, check it out. I feel like a queen coming up those steps. How did you feel, Zach? So elegant. It was just the coolest entrance and the most grand staircase that we've seen in a lot of these houses. Yeah, it's seriously so amazing. Let's go this way first. Yeah, this I, I part agree. of the upstairs, and then I we'll agree. go back that way. Let's do it. All right. So when you come over here first, you have your game room with your long seating area so you can just hang out do whatever you want over here read a book i love this grand homes always coming in coming in with the seating areas yes the seating ledges yes, ma'am and then oh, wow i didn't even pay attention that much to this backsplash here but they have really outdone themselves with this this is so pretty and it feels so cozy in here and i could literally just take a nap right now that's a really good up. adjective for this area right here laura what cozy yes because the rest of the house there's super tall ceilings and you you know can't even really see the ceiling as you're looking straight forward but yeah. with this it feels more closed in and nice for a uh, family gathering yeah for the media room it's amazing and then we'll come back flow through back this way to the game room don't trip Zach because there's stairs I always do <laughs> yeah. you can't stop me from tripping <laughs> and then you come in over here and you have another bedroom secondary bedroom with a seating area guys do the seating areas ever stop nope, nope. not with grand homes not with this builder laura <laughs> and then you have a decent sized closet space average size closet nothing too big nothing too small it's fine yeah so many secondary bedrooms in this house yeah how many oh. do we have four yeah four four total 
Five four total. total bedrooms, four total secondaries. That's right. And then you come this way, and this hallway leads to another flex space, living area, whatever you want to call it. And there's a full bath over here with really cool tile going on in the shower. Quartz countertops, of course. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. And then let's go flow back this way into this living area. You could even make this like a media room if you wanted to. Whatever you want to do with this space, you can do. It's so nice. This could even be like a playroom for your kids. Yeah, this is really nice. I haven't spent very much time on this part of the house, but this is yeah. spectacular. You know what? I feel like there might be a little too much space in this house. <laughs> yeah, I mean. There's a lot of space and, it, and like, I'm just like, I just need to start having babies because if I want to utilize the space, I need to have kids. Yeah, Otherwise, no rush, no rush. Yeah, obviously no rush. Yeah, well, I want to say something about this, guys. If you want a blast to the past and feel a wave of nostalgia, there's your Pac-Man, there's your Space Invaders. <laughs> what more can you ask? Look, guys, leave a comment down below if you know what these games are. I know what they are, and guess who's the best at these games? Me. Oh, no. <laughs> I am the Pac-Man pro. We're not going to challenge that right now, but once this camera turns <laughs> off, Lori, you're on. <laughs> I am the Pac-Man pro. I'm dead. The right. Pac-Man prodigy. Let's go back this way. So we're going to come across the way over here um, and show you some more bedrooms. Yeah, bedrooms. across this catwalk. Yes. Can we, can we pause here to appreciate this view? Yeah. This wow, view. look at that. The view is amazing. Can you believe that you can see all that from the entire Literally. upstairs flex room? Literally, it's crazy. It's so it's beautiful. So it's so pretty. All right, two more bedrooms, one more bathroom, and then we'll check out the backyard. All right, so one full bathroom here. This design, Zach, what do you think about this design? I am in love with the way they did the tiling on that wall. And, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of that now, but man, it just never fails to impress me. I love the designs. Why do I feel like there's a million different kinds of hexagon tile? <laughs> this one has like this texture with the lines. It's white, but it mm -hmm. has texture and it's different. We it's love different. texture. Like there's so many different hexagon tiles these days. Like I feel like, I feel like if I were building my own home, I would be overwhelmed with all the design ideas, to be honest. But don't fret guys, because you don't need to be overwhelmed. We got you. <laughs> Take screenshots of stuff that you like. Okay. Yes. Anyways, this, uh, another secondary bedroom that they made into a girl's room. I love what they did with the ceiling in here. It's so different. It's not just white paint and it's not just one color of paint. They did like a herringbone kind of pattern, um, pointing arrows and just really really got creative with the space. And I then, love this, the colors in this room. And I'm a, yeah. I'm a guy that likes pink, guys. I like the color pink a lot. I have yeah. a lot of pink clothes. And this room just makes me feel like if I touched anything, it would be so soft. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Um, but yeah, you have a average size closet over here. And then let's go check out the last secondary bedroom. And this is the one that they made for a boy. It's so cute. I love how they always make like all the, both, all the gender. This rooms. gives me Hunger Game vibes. It does. <laughs> Little Explorer, how cute. And then for this bedroom, you also have your average size closet space. We don't have to show you the same thing over and over again. Though. Yes, but we love showing secondary bedrooms because not a lot of people take the opportunity to do that, but we like it because the designs are endless. Yeah. They always, and they always, they always come through. Grand Homes always comes through with some insane design ideas. Wow, Laura, looking out back at the catwalk with that light fixture with the spiral staircase. Is this a shot? This is the view. This is where we should have started upstairs. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So guys, uh, we're even better. We have a chance to wrap up up here. Is there anything else you'd like to show us, Laura? Um. What about the backyard? Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys the backyard next. It's raining, so it'll probably sound like rain, but we're gonna go back there and we're gonna show you the backyard and it's gonna be fire. See you guys in two seconds. All right guys, let's go ahead and check out the backyard. We're gonna make this quick because it's freezing outside today. Yeah, it's a little drizzly out there today. 
All right, so they built a pool back here. Of course, whenever you build a grand home, you don't get a pool with it, but that's what they have going on in this backyard just for show, just so you can kind of get an idea of the potential with the backyard. I love the patio space and I love this space as well. It's perfect. I'm not going to go under that because it's dripping. Look at the awning, it's so nice. Eating breakfast, dinner, lunch with the family outside and just hanging out and really enjoying your backyard. It's so pretty. I agree. I love that lap pool. Usually I'm like, uh, you know, give me a nice big circular pool, but I'm a fan of that pool. I prefer square pools and rectangle pools over circular pools, to be honest. Now you know it, guys. If you ever build lower a pool, <laughs> Now you know. <laughs> you have all the answers. I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom, guys. <laughs> yes. All right, guys, we're going to go check out of here, and we will see you guys back in the living space. Two, Two seconds. seconds. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today at Lake Forest in McKinney, Texas, with Grand Homes. Today, the home that you saw on video can be built for about $1.2 million with all the upgrades and the big lot premiums. Um, and then this community starts at three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 2,700 square feet at a low price of 627,000, 620,000. That's right guys. And you can build from 40 foot lots, 50 foot lots. And for those of you that want a very nice big yard, 60 foot lots for a little bit of a uh, price premium. But that being said, anybody that gets on a contract with us before the end of the year is getting 15% back at closing. And that's pretty huge. So you can buy furniture, do whatever you need to do after you close on your brand new home. Yeah, you won't see that very often anywhere. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just as much as we enjoyed filming it for you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you are notified every time we post videos. And with that being said, we will catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs>